For this motorcycle adventure, I'd fly over to Mexico to join Ducati for their fifth annual Del Mar Cielo, an annual end of year event where Ducati riders from all over Mexico gather together for a day of riding and celebrating the Italian mark. This year's event started on the coastline of El Palmar Beach in Extapa. And the planned route for today would then take us high into the mountains with a few interesting stops along the way. By the end of the day, we should have covered just over 500 kilometers. And my ride will be on Ducati's powerful multi-tool machine, the Multistrada V4S, a bike I just love to ride. And as the early morning sun sparkled, we all geared up, started our engines and hit the road. It was a gentle getaway. And like always, when you ride in different countries, you have to watch out for different things on the road. Here in Mexico, it's good to note that all villages have speed bumps of varying size and severity as you go in and out of the villages. And also, through town, there are many roadside stores and stray dogs. But out of town, there's none of that. So you can just cruise and soak in all of that stunning scenery. And we did, as we just rode alongside the picturesque Infiorno Dam, crossing colourful bridges as we meandered our way towards higher ground. And it was a comfortable ride on the Multistrada, as it made light work of clicking by those kilometres. Burning through our first tank of gas was only interrupted by the occasional toll stop. And a puncture repair. There's a lot of potholes. Some of them are pretty severe. I think we just got caught out. But one thing's for sure, get a problem on this trip and there are many riders happy to stop and lend a hand. And with this flat fixed, he was soon back on the road, clicking by those kilometres and enjoying the scenery. And I was just loving the power of this V4 engine. A quick tank up as we came into town and then onto the town square. Now this church and town is relatively new, as the old one had been engulfed in a lava flow from a nearby volcano that erupted in 1943. So this is the Nuevo San Juan Parangaracotiro. After a brief stop, we then went in search of the old village. And as we did, we enjoyed the twists and turns of the tree-lined countryside. And then, hit the dirt. Our trail would now take us deeper into a remote area and where the trees, grit and gravel would change to lava rock and where the dirt I was riding on would slowly change to a darker, sandier and fine dust type surface. Now all the way out here is where the old village existed and after the paracutin volcano erupted and the lava flowed this way it engulfed everything in its path. All that's left now is the church tower and the altar. Luckily, no one was killed as it took over a year for the lava to reach the village and another eight years before all the eruptions ceased. 
Interestingly, the paracutin volcano is also one of the seven natural wonders of the world, as it's the youngest and one of the few volcanoes whose birth has been witnessed by man, as it literally grew from a crack in a farmer's cornfield in 1943 and then grew to over 9,000 feet by 1952. The old San Juan is a unique tourist attraction and a great place where we also enjoy tuck it into some well-earned food and drinks. Back on the bikes, we had a short trail ride back to the road and then we headed to a town famous in Mexico and the world for being the capital of the guitar. Greeting us as we came into town was a giant brass statue and many instrument shops. So we called into one where an old man who'd been working at this shop since he was a teenager, showed us the procedure of how to build a guitar from scratch. And not just any guitar, they say the ones from this town are the best sounding in the world. After our guitar stop, we then continued our journey to a nearby lake and it was perfect timing as the sun was just falling from the sky. Here we'd end our ride as we all arrived safely at the lake by sundown. Wow, what a day. Over 500 kilometers on the awesome Ducati Multistrada as we blasted through beautiful Mexico. Fun times, thanks to everybody who took part. Now go do the same, gear up, jump on your motorcycle and just go for a ride. Le voy a poner un ojo a este cabrón. <laughs>